Lambda EMBL 3A for the construction of genomic library. Now you have the idea that uh, different uh, lambda vectors can be used for cloning uh, our gene of interest and one of the vector is lambda EMBL 3A. So if we compare it with previous uh, strategy of maniators where he used uh, two restriction endonucleases uh, to generate uh, DNA fragments that have uh, blunt ends because uh, in miniature strategy uh, enzyme He3 or ALU1 uh, have been used that produced uh, blunt ends and they can recognize tetranucleotide sequence. Whereas uh, when we are going to use lambda EMBL3A, so this strategy it is comparatively more simplified. The reason is that here the source DNA it is not digested with two different restriction uh, endonucleases, rather it is digested with a single restriction endonuclease like SA3A. So is ka advantage kya hai? इस रिस्ट्रिक्शन एंजाइम को यूज करने का तो इसका एडवांटेज ये है कि जब हम डीएनए को इससे ट्रीट करते हैं तो इट में प्रोड्यूस कोहिसिव एंड्स और कोहिसिव एंड जो है वो आपस में लाइगेट कर सकते हैं तो डिफरेंट जो डीएनए के फ्रैगमेंट्स हैं वो लाइगेट करके तो लार्जर डीएनए के फ्रैगमेंट्स बना देते हैं तो सा 3A1 से ट्रीट करने के बाद हम डीएनए फ्रैगमेंट्स को एल्कलाइन फास्फेट से भी ट्रीट करते हैं ताकि इसके थ्री प्राइम सॉरी फाइव प्राइम फास्फेट ग्रुप्स जो हैं वो रिमूव हो जाएं ताकि ये आपस में सेल्फ लाइगेट ना कर सकें तो उसके बाद हम जो वेक्टर डीएनए है एंड हियर इट इज लैम्डा ई एम बी एल थ्री ए इसको डाइजेस्ट करते हैं बैम एच वन से और इको आर वन से बैम एच वन से डाइजेस्ट करने का एडवांटेज ये है कि ये सेम को ही सेवेंट प्रोड्यूस करता है जैसे सा थ्री ए है तो इस तरह से इनकी लाइगेशन इजी हो जाती है और बाद में इक्वार वन भी हम यूज कर सकते हैं ताकि जो नॉन एसेंशियल डीएनए है या फिलर डीएनए है उसको हम रिमूव कर सकें और बाद में इसको बिकॉज ऑफ द प्रेजेंस ऑफ सूटेबल सेलेक्टेबल मार्कर द रिकॉम्बिनेट्स कैन बी सिलेक्टेड इन नेक्स्ट डायग्राम वी विल explain that how lambda EMBL3A can be used for the construction of uh, genomic DNA libraries. So first it is the source or the genomic DNA and it can be digested with suitable restriction enzyme and here it is SA3A and later on it is treated with phosphatase so that 5 prime phosphate ends they are removed so that they will not ligate together. And then on the other hand, lambda EMBL3A, it is showing the genetic map. It contain a different polylink sites that contain restriction sites for different endonucleases like BAMH1, SOL1, EQR1. And within the central non-essential regions, the genes are present that are called as red plus and gam plus so these genes are required for the replication of the lambda genome when these genes are present it will not be able to infect a suitable cloning host which is p2 lysogen of e coli in fact p2 lysogen of e coli so no plaques are formed that will indicate that foreign dna it has not been ligated Whereas if this region it is deleted, then lambda EMBL3A, it will be able to infect P2 lysogen strain of E. coli and it will produce plaques that will indicate the insertion of foreign DNA at this location within the non-essential gene. So first it is digested with BAMH1 and EQR1. So what will happen in the next step? So discrete fragments of lambda EMBL3A will be produced having BAMH1 cohesivants here and then the non-essential region like red plus and gam plus they will be removed by EQR1 digestion 
and polylinker sites here at the left arm and the right arm they are discarded after precipitation with isopropanol in the next step and then they are discarded now we uh, get left and right arm of the vector DNA and here it is ligated with target DNA that contain our gene of interest so the, they are mixed together and ligation will be there in the subsequent step so in the next step the foreign DNA it is ligated here and then it is used for in vitro packaging in the next step so phage particles are produced and then the recombinants they are selected in the absence of SPI I negative strains here in the next step SPI negative indicates that red and GAM regions they are absent so that only the phage particles that contain recombinant DNA they will be able to produce plaques on P2 lysogen so it will act as a selectable marker